Okay, welcome back. And today we're going to be continuing our tutorial on StarMade 101. So that means we're going to be carrying on with this. And as promised, it's going to be a hanger. It's going to be a couple of turrets. And we're going to look at some symmetry mode. So um, first thing we're going to do is carry on from the last episode. So last time, just to recap, we built an extremely basic ship with uh, starter materials and a few bits of hull. And then we put a simple three block uh, faction home base down. So this is the quickest way to get yourself safe. On, uh, on the Russian fleet server and like I say until the game changes its attitude to faction home bases that's going to be legit pretty much anywhere that is using docking area ignore so we will do we will cover the use of docking enhancers um, but effectively I'm going to be moving on to the next set of basics now so the first thing we're going to be doing is obviously we just spawn back in near our home base and uh, I'm going to go into build mode so I'm going to enter the build block and you can see that docking area ignore has been my friend here that would not be a legal dock so other than that it actually fits <laughs> so other than these thrusters sticking out the back here it's fine but anyway so the first thing you're going to want to think is well you know it's kind of exposed here maybe i actually want to give myself a decent i don't know a, a, a sort of semi hanger looking base for my where my ship's docked so what I'm going to do is give myself a 264, which I believe is like hardened black. Um, I'm going to give myself a load of that. And uh, then we're going to give 271 as well, which is hardened white. And then we're going to go for this symmetry mode business. So here we are. If I just show you, if I push left control and hold it, you'll see a bunch of options will appear over here. We've got remove mode, which is obviously for removing using the options. Lighten, which should lighten up the ship that you're working on. Um, and then sometimes it's dark inside a ship when there's no lighting there. So then we have X, Y, and Z. You can use these sliders and it will actually, um, there you go. See that there? So that was X. X would be from side to side. Y would be up and down. And then Z would be your forward back. Okay, so that's your basic idea. If I created a three by two by three, then you would imagine, yes, you get a little rectangle or a cuboid shape. And this can be very useful to put down, but as we're gonna show you. I'm actually gonna do it with symmetry mode as well, so you can see the advantages of the system. So if we now go to the symmetry build planes, what we have is X, Y, y uh, X, Z, and Y, Z. Now, you have to pick a point. So what I do is I actually check odd symmetry, but we'll show you what this does first. So here we are, and this is sort of like your horizontal, so we put it there. It's quite difficult to see in this texture pack, actually. I might have to use a different texture pack just to demonstrate this, but uh, as you can see, you click on the block, and it's kind of the, the symmetry point is between these two blocks here. Okay, um, and what you want to do is just hit odd symmetry, and it'll make it in the middle of the block rather than at the edge of two blocks. And this is useful for making things that aren't, uh, you know, it, it odd numbers in terms of width, length, and height. Um, you'll find symmetry is easier when you've got a, a middle point like this. But anyway, so we're using odd symmetry mode. We're also going to put on symmetry mode there. We're not actually going to put the, that mode which I put on first. We're going to use the two others, which will go across the fold here and they'll fold here, okay? So then what we can do is actually choose Y of one, so we're gonna make the floor, and then we can make a Z of 10 and 10 on the X and Z. And then we can just sit, just literally go click. Wow, that's hard to see. <laughs> that is really hard to see, okay. So we're gonna put that down like that. My Right, I'm going to put some lights down because you cannot see anything. I'm going to say, you can sort of see. So I'm just going to replace a few of these uh, floor tiles with lights. And hopefully, sort of gives you a rough idea of what we're dealing with. I'm going to use white walls because it's a bit too dark. So we've done the floor. I know you can barely see it, but it is there. Like, there it is. There's the floor of our new hangar. And so now what we're going to do is we're just going to simply put a few walls around it. So that's super easy. We just uh, 
go Y up and one of them down. And then we've got a wall. If you wanted to change it, you scroll that one up and this one down. Now you've got the other wall. It's so easy, you get used to it. So we're going to go from this wall here and try and match it up. Oh, wrong block. My mouse wheel does that sometimes, guys. Sorry about that. Just sort of changes what I'm doing. So then we've got one wall up. So then, like I say, we're going to scroll this down and this one up. We may let it match. There we go. And now we've got your basic hanger. Okay. Um, there we go. So basic hanger done. So uh, I didn't actually buy any plex doors, which means I'm going to have to give myself item one two two. And item one two two will appear down here as plex doors. There we go. Plex doors done. So. Now you're thinking, well, you want to put some doors on the top, right? Yep. So we're going to uh, take the Y down to zero, the X and the Z up to the top again, and we're just going to click on the corner. One. And there I messed up. So this is where we get to show you remove mode. So remove mode, when you click the box, click the opposite corner, right click, and it'll take away what you just did in the exact same shape. So now I'm going to select the Plex doors with my mouse wheel and then do it that way. So there you go. And I think, boom and boom. And then I think that's done. So now all we need to do is put a few lights, put a few lights around the uh, edge, just because lights are cool. There we go, so we've got a couple of lights. Have got any more? Yep, we've got some white lights, excellent. Put some white lights along the top. There, there, there. And this is totally, you know, it's like you don't need to do this at all. I'm just putting things down. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? Plex and detonator. It's always a good laugh to have the plex and detonator. So, where are we going to put it? I reckon we'll put it just here. And then I'm going to push. R, come out of my station. I'm going to build a little habitation module underneath here, by the way. But um, for now, this is a basic, basic station. Uh, so we're going to go in, open the doors, and then we can see now we've got our hangar. Um, everything's docked up. This thing's invincible, so you can't be destroyed. You obviously can make this significantly larger if you wanted. Push R on the plex and detonator, and then if I commit suicide and respawn. I come back to life right above the undetonator. So that is why that's why you want that one, okay? Um, <clears throat> obviously we've got a little little uh, little hanger in space here. It's anchored so it can't move. No one can block or bash us out of the way. And um, finally, we've got our ship in a nice safe place. So if we ever want to take ourselves out, just go up here, push zero, click the mouse, and we're off. You can close it behind you by zapping the door with your foot docking beam. And uh, there you go. That's your station built. We've shown you how to use symmetry mode. The only thing left to do now is the uh, turret docking. So we're going to go back into the station. Okay. Uh, right click will not open the door as well, by the way. If you're ever trying to get into your hangar and dock, left click to dock with the docking beam works, but right click will ignore the fact that the door's in the way, so you won't keep opening and closing the doors by accident, okay? That's a good little tip. So if I now uh, come back under the station, and we're going to put a turret, I guess we'll put a turret underneath. It makes sense, doesn't it? Nice and easy. So we're going to build block mode, and then I, and we're going to need a few things in our hotbar, so we're going to take the turret docking unit, we're going to take the uh, let's have a look. shields because they do not have their own shields. They have to have they have to be shielded. Uh, we're not going to need the power tank. We're going to take the well. We are going to need the power tank actually. There we go. Power tank, and then we're going to need a weapons computer which we have already in there. And I think the next thing we're going to need is. So the next thing we're going to need is actually the um, AMC cannon. Where is the AMC cannon? I don't see any. 
they must have had none at the shop at the time and I know that that is a that's 16 so there you go 16 done um, didn't have any BBs either looking through what do we got okay we're gonna use you know what? I think that's actually fine. I think we've got everything we need here. Thrusters, just to move them into position. Get rid of my gun and my helmet for now. Um, ah, Bobby AI, you need that to make it all work. Right, so then, first thing I'm going to do is actually put a uh, turret docking unit down. So we're going to find a nice corner here, because that usually works quite nicely. And then we're going to take that out, put it in, so it's nice and flush. We've got four now, because of the symmetry mode, it's put four down, all facing the same way, so we can just have four turrets hanging off each corner. We're going to make them all exactly the same, so we push R to come out of the station. Come away from the station and push X, and we're going to call this turret. And we're going to go into the core with R, hit zero for the docking beam, and dock up to the turret. Uh, docking module. As you can see turret docking modules allow you to turn and they can sort of pitch up and down just a little bit. Okay, so that's how that turret works. Um, we're now going to go into build mode and then we're going to have some fun building this. So uh, let's just see if we just push C. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, fine. So from here we're going to want to build some power. So I'm going to put one power block uh, one power tank. Wait a minute, what? That's not the right block. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. So one power block. Make make it like that. Make a little make a little berry shape. Okay. Make a little berry shape on the back of the core. Uh, in fact I'm gonna do it slightly differently this time, so sorry about this. I'm just gonna take this one off. Because I want it to stick forward. So it'll rotate on this core here. So if I do that, <clears throat> and then go one, two, three with the shields, and then finally we'll put the weapons computer on, so the weapons computer can actually go here, and then we can put turrets, so we go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, eight. Got like a double triple barrel thing going on here all right not amazingly powerful but you know it's good against the pirates so that's all you need um we're going to need some shields on here as well so one two one two we've already got a few shields but not amazingly not loads of them you know um and then finally we're going to need to put a faction block on here so i i tend to put the bobby i tend to do this in a funny order so you got your core at the back People generally are shooting because they're facing. Turrets will turn to face. So, I've oh, got a bit of an issue with the screen here. Okay. Well, anyway, so um, turrets tend to face. So, what you want to do is actually put your faction block in front because it has a high damage resist. So, here's my faction block. And where's my Bobby AI module? There's my Bobby AI. So, I'm going to go Bobby AI faction block. So then if they take my faction block out, it'll take out everything else. <laughs> and then they've won, haven't they? But, you know, it's harder. They'd have to have quite a powerful gun to get that far. Um, if you're wondering what goes down here, it's going to be power, because we always need more power. Um, we can also put more power, in fact. I think we know we'll have more shields there and there. And then we'll wedge this. Effectively, it would be wedged. Okay, so you put like a... Wedged holes along the bottom there, another couple of wedges there, a few more wedges here going back the other way, a couple more there, uh, maybe some there as well, and then, uh, like I say, it's, it's just one way of finishing it off. You can do it any way you wish, but effectively that is your turret. So if we push T, weapons computer 1, and um, you can see it's got a damage of 43 with a distance of 359. So they're not amazingly powerful, um, but... Like I say, it's uh, still something to defend your base against little essence that might come in, like little pirates that auto-generate. So there you have it. Now, you might be thinking, oh, I don't really want to build four of these. And you don't have to. Push R, push I, catalog, create new entry, turret one, 
Oh, I've already created one of those. Okay, fine. Turret. Three. Okay. Hey, what happened there? Did my ship just appear outside? Huh? <laughs> I didn't buy it. I saved it. Okay, we might have just experienced a little bug here. Um, how did that work? Okay, anyway. Hang on a sec. I'm just going to get out of this turret. Get back in it again. Right. Save in local catalogue. It hasn't even saved it. Right. Turret. Demo. There you go. Right. Bye. Now, there we go. A new turret has appeared. If you ever spawn anything by accident, you can use the command slash destroy. So D-E-S-T and then press tab. That will just destroy one entity. If you want to go underscore tab, it'll put in the uh, dock, which will destroy anything that is docked to it as well. Okay, so next thing is, you'll notice that this thing has no sh has no thrusters, so it can't actually move. So if I want to move this thing, I'm going to want to whack one on the back. Of course, it's not letting me do it, so we'll get into it. Huh? <laughs> Hang on, what? <laughs> I'm just uh, confusing myself, guys, don't worry. <laughs> There it go. There it is. Slash jump when looking at things will automatically take you know teleport you straight to where you're looking at, which is very useful. Okay, so now we're going to put a thruster, two thrusters on the back. And that should give us enough thrust to get into position. So with zero. Dock done. R I. Catalog. Buy another turn. Go find it. This. Oh yeah. Oh, it won't let me take that off. Hang on a sec. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to put two thrusters on the back. One, two, and come down here. We've got zero selected, so bang. We've got that's another one done. Push R, push I, push catalog. Buy the turret. Okay. Soon, you may have to go to a shop to actually buy things, but I believe because people use this method for uh, spawning in their turrets, um, it may be here to stay, or at least a server option in some time in the future. I can't say, but that's by my speculation. Okay. Right then. Now, as you can see, we have four turrets all sitting on the bottom. So if I go back into the build block of this station, So you build block, good. You can see they're all sitting in their docks very happily. So now we're going to push T, sorry, I, and then go into the structure menu. Now, with the structure menu, what we can do is we can actually go down to turret docking system. And we're going to do activate all AI. I'm going to go to AI config menu, entity, turret, any active that's all we got to do quit the menu now if we get pirates come in here we're going to see some fireworks so I'm just going to try and sort that out for you so I believe it is initiate wave uh, one one no let's try five five and now we wait Sure, it's actually done anything. Pirates, I'm going to take symmetry off by pressing control and click, click. <clears throat> I don't see any pirates. Initiating another wave. Still no pirates. Hmm. Strange. Okay, well, I'm going to create my own, so you could call me crazy, you could call me impatient, but we're going to use the temp ship, so I'm going to go copy, so I've tried to buy it, and I've actually just copied it, so copy this line from there before the first forward, uh, underscore, and then we're going to type slash spawn mobs, the name of the blueprint, minus one for the faction, and five. And if I got that the wrong way around, everyone could laugh at me. Nope, got it the right way around. 
So here come the temp ships and here goes the, our turrets. So there you go. Let's see how long it takes for our station to take out five of our own. Oh, that didn't take long at all. Right, in that case, I'm going to get a call and we're going to get a good view of this. So let's just do something fun for the last part of the tutorial. Uh, we're going to type 500 instead. Ha! Oh yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh yes, good luck station. Oh baby. So, gift time. Okay, so um, yeah, we have quite a lot of noobs at my home base, and we're just going to make sure that it's invulnerable. Um, <laughs> yes. Now that's more like it. Whoa, one of them's actually trapped inside, it looks. So I'm just going to go down to my base and see what it looks like if I was in this thing. I think I'm going to need a little gravity block here, you know. Oh gosh. Yeah, you are very stuck, mate. So we're going to destroy you. But as you can see, I'm getting 16 frames with 500 ships all flying around above me, which is not bad. Um, I think I could probably do with a... Um, is this a build block? No, it's a faction module. Okay, fine. So let's just hover up here. Looks like they're busy. I think it's time that I uh, close the door. <laughs> just peek out this little hole here. Uh, <laughs> look how mad they are. Right. Uh, what we're going to need to do here is just get in this. Go into build mode. Oh. There we go. So I think we're just going to uh, leave this now and I'm going to get a bit of a... <laughs> I'm just going to continue recording this and you can check this out. So that is the uh, StarMade 101, how to get your faction home base set up with the minimum amount of uh, effort and blocks. Get your first ship in there. From this point you can build a bigger hangar or a dry dock so you're nice and protected while building. Build in your dock, you know, so no one can grief you while you're building. It's, it's not difficult. So there it is. Thanks for watching. I'm going to um, just carry on filming this chaos. So uh, thanks again, and I'll see you all next time.